Hello anatomy colleagues, this is Dr. Alsip and welcome to station number eight where we are going to discuss some of those axio-appendicular muscles, specifically those found on the anterior portion of the body. And what this means, uh, axio-appendicular, if you recall, is that it's going to have, these muscles are going to have some of their attachment points on the axial skeleton, but their more distal attachments are going to be associated with the appendicular skeleton, either the scapula or the humerus. So let's start with the pectoralis major, which I'm going to outline here. We don't see all the way to its distal attachment on the humerus, um, but <clears throat> that is where it is going to extend. This is actually the deltoid, which we'll talk about with the intrinsic shoulder. And you can see that it's a quite a large muscle. It is fan-shaped. It is going to be a bit more superior when we're talking about the axial portion of the body. It, is, it has two different heads. It's going to have a clavicular head and then its sternocostal head right here, so associated with the costal cartilages. And again, I mentioned that its distal attachment will be on the proximal humerus uh, near that intertubricular sulcus, but not exactly uh, within that sulcus. So I think it's a fairly prominent muscle. The only other muscle I feel like it can be confused with is perhaps the deltoid, but that's going to be more of the cap of the shoulder. The serratus anterior, you can only see a little bit of here, but you have these very distinct kind of saw-like, saw-tooth um, appearance of this muscle. And you, it'll actually extend a little bit more inferiorly as well. So these are going to have its more proximal attachments on the ribs, and its distal attachments will be on the anterior portion of the scapula. So it's kind of heading up into this region here. And um, so this one does not extend to the humerus. It will directly attach to the scapula, so affecting that scapula thoracic joint that we discussed in the lectures. So this one is kind of um, inferior and lateral to the pectoralis major. The last muscle that I want to discuss at this station is the pectoralis minor. And you can see over here real quick, this is a more superficial dissection. So here's the deltoid muscle. This is the pectoralis major, similar to what we saw on that last image. You actually have a pacemaker right here on this donor. But on this side, you can see that the pectoralis major has been reflected, and it has to be reflected in order to be able to view the pectoralis minor. The pectoralis minor is directly deep to the major, and as you can see, it is going to be smaller than that pectoralis major. So that major will completely occlude the view of pectoralis minor. This will have its more proximal attachments on the ribs, similar to what we had with the serratus anterior that you can also see here. Um, and the pectoralis minor is going to have its distal attachment on the coracoid process of the scapula. So again, not crossing the shoulder joint, so it will directly affect the actions of the scapula and that scapula thoracic joint. So I like this image because you can see a superficial dissection and a deeper dissection to get an idea of what that pectoralis major looks like reflected. All right, excellent. So let us continue our exploration of the muscles of the upper limb at our next station. Please reach out if you have any questions uh, regarding the identification of these structures. Thanks for your time.